Welcome back everyone to KOA Cribs. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button and show us your support. If you would like your castle to be featured on KOA Cribs, please reach out to Pika or myself or leave a comment in the video. On today's episode of KOA Cribs, we will be looking at the castle of El Diablo from Kingdom 874. Met Diablo in the first season map of Solaris and uh, we had quite a lot of fun. I think that was the only fun season that, of Solaris that uh, was there. And uh, after that, when they actually put in the blue safety zone never disappearing, it's not been fun anymore. But back to El Diablo, great guy, uh, he's got a 5 billion power castle. As you can see, sporting a black dragon scepter. Going over into the skins. He's got the latest, my favorite so far, the Halloween skin. Got a whole bunch of other four star ones, a couple of two star. The most recent skin, which is the, that Wrath one, uh, has that on eight star as well. Going on over into the marches, a few of the marches, the most recent one is out there, the pumpkin head march, a few of them unopened, starting that collection pretty well, has the latest accolade as well for that 40% bonus, a few more accolades sitting unopened as well, a pretty good collection so far and still growing. Going on over into the weapons, we've got everything legendary this is a legendary druidic set pretty impressive for a young kingdom castle not bad at all going on over into the artifacts looks like a bunch of legendaries a few epics a couple of them still to be upgraded Going on over into the dragon, again, Max Dragon, got most of the skills to 6 star and one seven star skill setting out there. And over into the emblems, looks like we got a bunch of legendary emblems here, yep, all of them legendary. Into the Draconics, got the tier 3 Draconics, plus 4, 1 tier 5 golden plus 5 and a couple of the uh, newer tier 3's as well. Going over into the armor section, we've got a full set of Holy Eagle armor. We've got 1 5 star, 2 5 star, 3 4 stars and 1 3 star. Some work in progress, but coming along really nice. Going over into the gems, it looks like a full frost gem collection. So far, all I'm seeing are legendaries on the gems, and it looks like a fully legendary frost jewel set. Really impressive. Going into the troops, we have a total of 16.6 .6 million troops. Now see, the makeup over there, I would probably add on another 2 mil or so of the uh, infantry. But uh, a really great start. Going into the heroes, we've got all of the heroes going all the way up to the most recent. We've got uh, pretty much maxed out on almost all of the heroes except for the NS5s, still have 4 star. Looking great. 
going into the inventory. Hey, looks like almost ready for the second 7 star skill there. Got some mats sitting out there. Uh, some summons there as well. Collecting a couple of dragon shadows, really nice. I love dragon shadows. I, I grab them every chance I get from the troop trainings. Along with that, it's got some accolades that are unopened, some marches unopened, and a decent pileup of the troop training speed ups. Going over into the statues, it looks like it is a full set of legendary statues. Really nice. Thank you so much El Diablo for providing us a tour of your castle. Once again, don't forget to click that subscribe button and stay tuned for more mega castles on KOA Cribs.